Oh my god, there's dolphins over there right now. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh, yes! This is pretty cool. Goes all the way around there. Check that out! Whoa. <laughs> That is pretty cool. Uh. Wow. This is insane. <laughs> Amazing view. That would be where I climb up, which is not possible. The one day there's a pot of dolphins, my drone controller is dead. <laughs> uh, I'll be back. Hopefully I see some next time, but <laughs> just happens to be. Actually, it looks like they're Heading in towards the shore where the surfers are. <laughs> wow. There's like 10 of them. So I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot of FOMO from when those dolphins came by the other day and my drone controller was dead. So today I got my drone and I'm just gonna sit here on this the side of this cliff. Got 180 degree water views. I can see for miles. And yeah, we're just going to wait here and fingers crossed we'll see something, but yeah, <laughs> who knows. Oh my god, there's dolphins over there right now. Alright, I'm gonna send the drone up. That was absolutely insane. The footage looked incredible. <laughs> that was crazy. I honestly didn't think I'd be that lucky because last time they swam around there, checked out the surfers over there and swam back. And it looks like they're just hanging out there now. So they must do that all the time. That's really cool. Oh, I've always wanted to get shots like that. Oh, I can't believe I did it today, finally. That's amazing. <laughs> I was just like, where'd they go? And they were over there and the whole pod, like seven or eight of them was 
in the wave surfing and they all jumped up. I got video of a couple of them doing it, but before the, all of them were doing it at the same, in the same wave. That was crazy, man. That made my day. And it's about the same time of day as well, so that they came again. So they must do this regularly. So I'm back here a couple days later and I'm going to go in around the same time, 12 o'clock and fingers crossed uh, we can see some dolphins but I'm just going to go in and give it a shot, like, not have my hopes up but I have to try, I have to try. Right now I'm just up here. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to swim out there and wait for them to come to me instead of like spot them and then swim to them it just feels safer i guess i don't know to just let them come to me if they are there and they, they definitely couldn't be it's only twice that i saw them in that spot at the same time so i am assuming that they'll come again but i have no idea so let's just see so me being an idiot i decided to swim out there and see if i could swim with them but the waves were quite big and they kept coming in fast so also these rocks here didn't really feel like getting hit up against those and I decided to swim back in but I did get some cool encounters with some stingrays and other fish so here's that now I'm trying to help these fish that got stuck on this side that need to go back to the lake but every time I go down there they just swim away so can't really do much That was incredible guys, oh my god. I can't believe that. <laughs> I was looking around for it on this rock and then I turned around and it was right there. And he came past and swam and he said hello. I can't believe that, that was amazing. Again, it happened again just then. I saw the stingray flapping around in the water. So I, I sent the drone up, sure enough, there it was. So yeah, got another one. <laughs> seen, I've seen a few, maybe three this week, which is crazy. Because I got the personal kind of interaction one, that was the first time. Then I got one with the GoPro underwater, then one with the drone. They were all separate times. So we're out on another metal detecting trip, finally, 6.30, should be good. Did it, made it down to the beach, amazing sunrise, got some shots of that. Now I think we're ready to detect, it's probably been I don't know. I haven't, I, yeah, I don't think I've really detected much since January, so let's go. First signal. Bottle cap. Dang, check that out. Recently dead cuttlefish. Pretty big one. Pretty clean, I'll say that. I think not as many people coming in winter. I was recording, got this awesome sunrise, it looked great, but um, it, the phone tipped over. <laughs> Alright, 
no signals, the batteries on the detector's low, the detector itself is just about to die, as you can see. But we do have a signal, so <sighs> let's, let's check it. And it is the world's smallest rusty nail. So yep, just a couple of rusty bottle caps and a nail, rusty nail. Not much, but I'm kind of happy about it because I usually find tons of rubbish here. But I guess people are not coming here as much because it's cold now, but <laughs> I might have to find a new beach. I was just walking along, there's a massive bush turkey in the tree. It scared me and then I turned around and there's three more. I see, I think, two whales over there. It's probably about two kilometers out and that's a bit risky with the drone. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do that, but I'm looking, I'm looking for a close whale and potentially get some cool drone shots with that. But it's good to know they're out there. They're out there. So I'm back here at the abandoned coal loader, the, the jetty, and um, this is where I first found some fossils uh, when I was kind of getting back into it. I saw some seaweed fossils and I was like, okay, I'll keep those in mind. And that's how I found those other ones up at Newcastle. Just come, I don't know, brought, brought fossils back in my mind just, just to keep an eye out for them. So yeah, we're going to go back. We're back here now. And um, yeah, we're going to see if we can find any fossils here. This fence was way up on the hill you can see all the coal deposits here so they are there are fossils here for sure I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'll, I'll stand here and pan away as the drone goes under the bridge and then comes out. That'll look cool because Ben did that, but he did it a lot slower in cinematic mode, I reckon. But yeah, and I, I'm doing it like 20 meters away from the thing as well. So <laughs> anyway, it honestly looked good coming in and then about halfway through it started going a bit to the left. And I was like, well, you can't stop there because if you stop there, maybe the wind will just blow it in the pole anyway. Your best bet is to just go on through and just pray. So I did that and it looks like I was just this close off the beam. And in reality, you know, it, it was probably more like 30 centimeters to half a meter away from the pole, but that is still way too close and that's probably the closest call I've ever had with the drone <laughs> because if it hit that you know like when I'm usually doing it over bushes and things you know it can crash sure but it there's a chance it'll still work if it crashes there and hits the water it's definitely not gonna work so that was extremely lucky Whew. and I was just thinking about oh yeah like I'm proud of myself for not you know destroying the drone after having it for a year because um, I never thought I'd get shots like that. I thought like that would be way too hard, but I guess I've gotten that confident and um, Yeah, a good good learning lesson escaped to that one and came out with a extra cool looking shot Because of it Honestly, not too much luck with the fossils Didn't check for that long just kind of figured I'd give it a scan properly And there are a few rocks that look like they could have some in them didn't have like the hammer and chisel and that so you know but I definitely did find some seaweed before so st stuff is here so I just had a quick glance at the lookout and I saw two whales two whales so I think if I sit down by the beach on this rock who knows how long 
I might be lucky enough to capture one with a drone. Let's do it. Spotted two more over there. They're about a kilometer, maybe two kilometers away, so a bit risky for the drone, but the chances are looking good. I think here makes the most sense because I can see pretty much 360 degrees. I guess we'll just wait. <laughs> I believe it. I've been out here for four hours now and um, like the last five minutes of battery on my drone, I was about to like, eh, we'll just go out there. And um, there were like, there was like three of them and they all popped up at once, but I didn't get that shot, unfortunately. It, it was lagging a bit and I, I couldn't record that, but I got some I got some great footage. I can't believe that at the very last minute. I'm so stoked. That's incredible and they're still out there. It's only a, about 400 meters out. Oh, I can't believe that. There they are. They're right there. Oh man. Oh, yes. Oh, I I oh, I can't believe that. That is insane literally just been sitting here four hours and then perfect 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 timing I, oh. that is a drone shot I've always wanted to get since I first got my drone about a year ago and I've always dreamt of getting that shot I, I can't believe I finally got it yes oh. I, I don't think I'll ever get over that, like, the timing on that, it's like God set that up perfectly. But, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Shorts channel, follow me on social media, and um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what else I should do, and I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Peace.